Welcome to Biology Made Easy. In this lesson, we are explaining hydrostatic pressure, pressure potential, and tension values in cells and xylem. You are welcome. What is hydrostatic pressure? Well, pressure exerted by fluid due to gravity. So we have this fluid and this fluid at a point like here, A, the fluid is exerting pressure. The mass with gravity acting on it is weight. So the weight exerts pressure and pressure at B will be bigger and pressure at C greatest. So that is what hydrostatic pressure is. And hydrostatic pressure values are positive pascals. You remember our lesson on water potential? The hydrostatic values of water potential negative, but here is positive. Now, we tend to look at these values in the plant. We have a leaf section drawn here. We have a vein, the midrib, the stem, xylem, root xylem. And hydrostatic pressure in this system is such that the pressure at the tips here is low because if you look at it, the amount of water and the gravity will be lower. It will be increasing as you go down, as we saw. So simply, the pressure values in the xylem of this plant, we have given ourselves hypothetical figures here, and these are points of the plant. You see D is part of the stem, and we go down these points, and these are the hydrostatic pressures increasing as you go down the plant. Well, we want to quickly turn to look at pressure potential. And pressure potential is just like hydrostatic pressure. But we'll look at why pressure potential is sometimes used and sometimes hydrostatic pressure is used. Well, we have a cell here or in a system, there's fluid in it. Because there's fluid in it, the fluid has this mass and pressure acting on it. So it has weight and the weight of it develops a force inside this. So there's a pressure of water in this system. And that pressure or force is the pressure potential. So if I have water molecules here and water molecules is moving into this system, the pressure potential will be increasing. So you see that pressure potential and hydrostatic pressure, they are the same force of fluid, but each explains better a different situation as we can see. Here we go. This is a system. We have water or fluid in this system. We have another system here. We have fluid in here, and we are going to put pressure potential to talk about this one. And here we are going to refer to hydrostatic pressure. If you look at this system and we are talking about the pressure potential, what we are doing is talking about the, the pressure in the whole system. That is pressure potential, the force built up by the fluid inside the system, the whole pressure potential. We don't pick part of it and say pressure potential at point A or point B. But when you come to look at this system, we have this fluid in here. When we talk about hydrostatic pressure, we can refer to depth or points and say that at this point A, the hydrostatic pressure is lower than point B. So hydrostatic pressure is good to use when you are referring to pressure at different depths or points because hydrostatic pressure is related to gravity. That is why it's more useful to use hydrostatic pressure 
when we are talking about the xylem vessels or the sieve tubes and their contents. Well, we come back to look at pressure potential here. We also have toggle pressure. You remember our lesson on toggle pressure and wall pressure. Toggle pressure, the force of the fluid inside here that is pressing on the cell walls, that's toggle pressure. And toggle pressure is also related to pressure potential. In fact, pressure potential can be the same as toggle pressure. And you know that once there's toggle pressure acting on the cell walls, the cell walls also produce an equal and opposite force inwards. So pressure potential is related and the same as toggle pressure and wall pressure. And you know that toggle pressure and wall pressure is only refers to plant cells. This does not happen in animal cells because of absence of cell walls. So it means that you cannot use pressure potential all the time or toggle pressure all the time. It depends upon the situation or the issue at hand to describe. So that is pressure potential and hydrostatic pressure. But want also to note that these pressures, you have water potential and water potential, the tendency of water to move from one place to another. If the pressure potential is big, water potential will also be big and pressure potential will be big and hydrostatic pressure will be big. So all these are the same. They are all pressure or forces that is related to fluid, right? But they can be used at different times in different angles. And these water potential, water pressure, pressure potential, hydrostatic pressure can be talked about, used in both animals and plant cells. But you come to toggle pressure and wall pressure, which are also pressure with regards to fluid, it's only in plant cells. Now, water potential, pressure potential, and hydrostatic pressure have positive values of Pascal, but they can become negative values when there is tension. So what is tension? Yes, tension is negative pressure. So we have this system, we have fluid inside it, you see, the force of the fluid that is pressing down is hydrostatic pressure. But then tension is the force that is pulling the fluid. So tension is pulling force. If we try to compare hydrostatic pressure and tension, we look at this point, hydrostatic pressure will be small. The small amount of fluid in here and gravity on it to be small. But when you come to B, plenty of fluid, gravity big. So hydrostatic pressure at B will be bigger than at A. Then hydrostatic pressure at C will be biggest. But then when we come to tension, we are looking at a pulling force, a force that is pulling the substance. So the force of tension is bigger at A because tension is not only going to pull the surface of the fluid. Tension is pulling the fluid from beneath. So you see tension is greatest at the top, but tension values are negative. And so tension is greatest at the top and it is most negative at the top and it reduces as you go down. That is the difference between hydrostatic pressure and tension. So why don't we look at tension with respect to the plant as well? We looked at the leaf section, we have the xylem, we have the xylem of the stem, 
And as this leaf, water evaporates from the surfaces and goes out and water is moved from the xylem to replace the water that has been evaporated, tension set up. This force is set up to pull the water from the xylem of the leaf right to the xylem of the root. And so the tension is greatest at the tips of the xylem. So we give it, we put the point down, we have point D, point E, these are points on the plant where we are going to fix our tension values. So here we go, we have hypothetical tension values in Pascal's. The greatest tension will be at the top here, which it's the greatest negative, that is the minus 3000 we've given it. And as you go down, as we explain, tension reduces the negatives. But look at hydrostatic pressure, small, and it's increasing. So these are the differences in values in tension, hydrostatic pressure, and pressure potential. Well, if you were able to understand what I'm trying to explain better, then why don't you give us a thumb and subscribe? In our next lesson, we will look at solute potential and relate it to what is happening in the sieve tubes. So we'll meet in our next lesson. Thank you very much and goodbye.